What's up guys, this is Kyle from Wax Museum and I am back with part two of my uh, WNBA game worn jersey, or I should say just pieces of game worn jersey video. Uh, and just some quick backstory if you didn't see part one, I bought four partial jerseys that used to be in Fleer's inventory, somehow ended up in Rittenhouse's inventory, and eventually the owner of them sold them off uh, and I was able to get some. So. I'm going to take a look first at the pieces of this Yolanda Griffith jersey that I have here. And I do have a printout of uh, not a Yolanda jersey, but a similar jersey from that era um, to try and, and maybe match some of the pieces up if I need to. Let's go ahead and see what all is left of this one. Doesn't look like there's as much, but I was kind of joking with someone. I said, you know what? I need, I do still need a Yolanda patch for my Hall of Fame PC. Well, now I have a bunch of them. So uh, we've got a lot of these have the backing on it, which not everyone in the last video did, um, but these pieces have the backing on them. So they were, looks like, prepped to be used. Uh, I'll pull some of these big pieces out because they're not really significant, but looks like most of the side panel, as you can see here, and then um, some big pieces of the jersey as well. And you can kind of see the pattern on there but same pattern here. So mostly side panel. We'll get these big pieces out of the way so we can start looking at some of the more fun stuff. I don't know where that piece would have come from. Um, and what I also discovered on the last video is there were some pieces that looks like they were probably from shorts, which I didn't know I had pieces of shorts. So uh, I, I haven't been able to officially confirm that yet. Here's something that's a little more significant. But um, yeah, that might be something that I have to look more into because that might be the case here as well. Okay, um, I believe this is Yolanda Griffith's 2003 All-Star jersey. Uh, there are some pieces that indicate that it is. And I also know that they use that. Uh, there's one of the clear cards that is, it mentions on the back that it uses part of that 2003 all-star game jersey. Okay, so we've got this big piece here, obviously. This is um, on the back, kind of above the hem, so we've got Monarchs there, so that's cool that they kept that intact. That would be kind of hard to put in a card, but I imagine they still could, but it is thicker, so that would have been harder for them to put in a card, but it's a cool piece to have solo. You know, this was before we had, like, jumbo immaculate pieces, although for WNBA we still don't have that kind of stuff, although we should. Uh, we have origins with the, the patches that they never wore, but that's a, a whole different issue. I don't know where this is from. I don't see this anywhere on this. It could be a random piece from another jersey. Sometimes that stuff seems to have slipped in. Okay, well, let's look and see what we do have, though, what we can recognize. So that looks like it's part of a tag. Uh, I've got another piece of a tag here. We've got the um, the 2003 all-star game logo. We've got some pieces of that, which I don't know where that would have been on the jersey. Maybe there was a shooting shirt. Um, bear with me as I'm turning all of these pieces over here. It's a little bit of a tedious process. Those just look like either number pieces or part of the, the Sacramento logo, so I'm not too worried about those. Um, we've got some more all-star pieces here. Work through this as quickly as I can, but I also don't want to miss anything if there's something cool in here. Some more all star stuff. Let's see what all we got here. Uh, that maybe that's I'm not sure about that. I don't think the Sacramento logo is shiny like that but I'm not 100% sure. There's a lot of pieces like that. Maybe it is. It's another big piece. Oh, I do spot something here. I think I referred to this as a logo man in last video. I technically, are these, is this a logo woman? Like, I don't know if, if I've ever seen that determined or not, but that, that's part of the logo piece. And I mentioned in the last video that 
you know, we've seen this a lot with the NBA products where Logo Man pieces got in and stuff from this era in the 03, 04 era. A lot of people doubt that stuff, and uh, but it did happen. Uh, I, you know, I, I know people that have pulled cards like that from packs. Uh, so it is out there. So uh, I needed a Yolanda Griffith patch for the PC. I've got quite a few now. Uh, and somebody asked me, are, are you going to be making custom cards? Maybe. I don't know. Uh, I don't want to ruin any pieces necessarily, but it looks like I do have a few to spare here. And I'm not just going to you know, use them willy-nilly, but if, if I can find um, a way to do something to where it looks decent, yeah, I'll, I'll probably try to use them for something. I mean, they're already cut up. It's not like I'm cutting up something that is in one piece. All right. So get all this stuff back in this bag here. And we'll get to the main one, which is a Nikisha sales jersey. And I think it's a 2001 All-Star Game jersey, although there is some stuff in there that puzzles me a little bit as well. Um, but maybe it could indicate that maybe this is just a hodgepodge of jersey pieces, even though they've tried to identify certain ones. Okay, so we've got Yolanda all packed up here. On to Nikisha Sales, which this is an Orlando Miracle jersey, and I believe they became the uh, Connecticut Sun. I know someone in the comments will correct me if I didn't get that right. There's a lot of stuff in here. All right, so let's get some of the big stuff out of the way. I love that that tag is still intact. Um, that confuses me because if this is in fact a 2001 All-Star Game jersey, uh, this ribbon was not on jerseys yet. So maybe there's a couple different jerseys here that we're pulling from, I'm not sure. We got the big number 42, that's really cool. We've got the big, Miracle logo, that's really cool. Got the small number 42, so there's a lot of big pieces here. Uh, one of the armholes here, because you can see that's this is where the side panel would have been. The other one here, um, some random little pieces. Not much they can do with stuff like this, but they do keep it because you never know. Here is part of that side panel of the jersey. Um, you can make a lot of patch cards out of that. And Panini does that. Oh, and this one was prepped to do just that. They didn't quite get to cutting it apart, though, it looks like. Got some jersey pieces. This is a nice patch piece. Which, um, I think that would have been from a number, so... I'm wondering if there's not maybe a couple jerseys that they're working with here or pieces from a couple jerseys because this would have been also from a number, but we've got all of the numbers here. So that makes me feel a little bit better about that 9-11 um, ribbon, that Unity ribbon. All these little pieces are not in a, a separate baggie. They're all just kind of in here. So I'm trying not to lose any in the process. This would be... Oh, this is cool. This would be the... Um, the kind of the neck hole with the Reebok logo. So this would have been... Um, this jersey would have been from 2002 because they didn't have the Reebok jersey on the 2001, which, and then that Unity ribbon would have been on the back of this, and I bet it was taken from right there. Um, still, so may, I don't know where the 2001, where the All-Star jersey comes from, though. That's why I think I've got pieces of, of several different jerseys here, and it's going to be hard for me to confirm much of anything. I don't see anything else, uh, and I won't flip every single one of these over, but I don't see anything else in there that gives me any more big clues. So, um, long story short, I don't know what all I have, but I think it's really cool. This was actually the one I paid the most for. It's 42 I think I paid $42 for it. 
But uh, when you combine that, I paid you know 20 for Yolanda Griffin. I pay Griffith. I'm sorry, I paid 99 cents for another one. So um, you know, I, I think I ended up paying 100 bucks for all four of these total. Really cool to look through. If you can clarify something in the comments for me, just let me know. Remember, there are new episodes of the audio podcast that come out every Thursday. And as always, thanks for watching.